Good morning, I'm Lauren Hayes for the Finance News Network. US equities ended mixed in Thursday trading. The Dow Jones Industrial Average rose after new data showed third quarter GDP grew faster than expected and hinted at waning inflation, encouraging investors to buy stocks linked to the health of the economy. Treasury yields slid after the latest US GDP report showed some signs that inflationary pressures could be easing. The yield on the 10-year Treasury dipped 11 basis points to 3.9 per cent. Overnight, the Dow climbed 0.6 per cent, led by shares in McDonald's, Honeywell and Caterpillar, after they reported better-than-expected earnings. It traded up as much as 549 points earlier in the day. The S&P 500 closed down 0.6% and the Nasdaq ended 1.6% lower as a rout in Facebook parent Meta and other tech stocks weighed on those benchmarks. Meta shares plummeted 30% on a weak fourth quarter forecast and disappointing third quarter earnings Wednesday. The company also said it would lose even more money next year, building out the metaverse. The report led to several analysts downgrading the stock. In aftermarket trading, Apple shares are currently trading down 2% post their results, with Amazon shares currently down 18% following an earnings miss. The Nasdaq futures are down 3% as a result. The key thematic takeaways from the recent batch of results includes continued price increases, lingering inflation and supply chain pressures, FX headwinds, consumer resilience and excessive inventory in retail. In EV battery news, the EU plans to ban new combustion engines from 2035. The EU's member states and parliament are set to reach a deal that would effectively ban the sale of new combustion engine cars from 2035. Across the sectors, it was all about tech, with the route extending to tech thematics like metaverse and AR, search engine, EV battery, digital streaming and Chinese tech companies. On the currency front, one Australian dollar has weakened compared to the US dollar yesterday, buying 64.51 US cents. Now to commodities, iron ore futures are pointing to a 2.5% fall. Gold lost 0.2%, silver fell 0.03%, copper lost 0.9% and oil gained 0.8%. The SPY futures are pointing to a 0.4% fall. I'm Lauren Hayes. Have a great weekend.